Hello and welcome to my video. I'm going to be explaining why it's important to use three-dimensional shapes in your drawings. It doesn't make things, well, it doesn't just make things easier, it speeds up your process of learning. And, well, again, it just makes things a lot easier. I, if I, I wish I had learned this way earlier, because I would have been so much better if I learned these 3D shapes. And as you saw the, an example that I just like just passed a few seconds ago, you're only supposed to use those 2D shapes if if you're like in this in a certain perspective. Um, and you want to use 3D shapes like 3D shapes like the ones I'm showing right here. Um, these are kind of like cylinder type shapes, but you know you get the point. It's spheres, cubes. And prism, prisms, that's what you want to use. And drink in 3D. I'm gonna try to draw a character in 3D shape. Um, as you see here, I'm messing up with the circle a lot. Because, you know, circles. Okay. Okay, well, we could starve to Venom ben of dies. Oh, by the way, this character is from a comic that I'm telling you about making eventually. I'm not sure when. It depends on how much time we need to practice. But it's pretty much called the um, Clouds vs. Stars. I don't want to get really need to talk about the concept too much. It's about these like, two goddesses so, that are like at war, war at each other. Just the night goddess and the day goddess. I'm not sure if I call her the day goddess or the cloud goddess, but either way, they're just at war with each other. And this is pretty much going to be something that's going to be going on during the whole thing. Anyways, back to teaching. I use triangles, these triangular prism shapes for the, his, um, I don't know what they call them, point to here thing. It's not actually here, it's clouds, but yeah, you get the point. And I'm gonna use a cute oh, sorry on my bed. What is it called again? A sphere, yes, a sphere for the rib cage. It makes it look the characters look more cute, that's why. I, I usually I would use an oval shape. I use uh, spheres for the shoulders as well. And a cylinder for the arm. We had another cylinder for the other part of the arm. I'm sorry, I'm not exactly well versed in my anatomy. And um, this, I'm not sure what to call it this shape, but it's kind of like a, a rectangular prism, prism kind of shape, but a little, little bit tapered, you know. And they use cylinders for the thighs. Messed up there. Don't want the legs to be too thick here. And spheres for the knees. It's these cylinder type shapes for the um what do you call them again? I think I swear I kind of, uh, whatever whatever. And these uh, triangles. I'm not, I'm not sure what shape that is. You know, uh, sometimes you gotta have these irregular shapes that aren't very obvious. They're not like cubes, spheres, or or tri uh, or pyramids. They're, they're gonna be organ organic or just not typical. And you could have to. You, that's where you use reference and stuff to learn how did these shapes look when rotated, because that's very important you know, when you're trying to draw things. I mean, if you're like, kind of like me, you could just do it in your head, but it's not everyone's like that, you know? I'm just drawing the hands. I know a lot of people, I, I may do a video on the hands later. Gonna polish things up a bit here, just to make things more clear. His little table thingy he has on the back of his head. It's 
the adult trail thingy kind of like tracks his movement. I don't know if that's considered a disadvantage or not. I'm not I don't know. I think of it in the future when I make the comic, I guess. Yeah, I had to move that triangle since it was in the way of the hand. And there you go. Yeah, that's pretty much a shame for it's not the best drawing in the world, but it gets that point across. I'm just gonna like, polish this a little bit. Yeah, okay, so now we're gonna get straight into the Minecraft drawing. Minecraft is made of cubes, you know, cubes, rectangular prisms. And here I'm gonna like kind of mix up the shapes a bit, not only do you know spheres and rectangular prisms, velocities. Shapes that you wouldn't typically see in Minecraft. Here are the eyes that don't align with each other, unfortunately. Um, the, the lips. The hair. Which I'm not, it's not going to be blocky. I'm going to do di uh, diagonal shapes here. Which is not usually in Minecraft as you know. Okay, and we're gonna do it. Uh, if you couldn't, if you probably couldn't tell, but I'm doing this this Swedish Minecraft Minecraft skin, the Alex one. I'm making the hoodie thing she has on. As you see here, I'm like bending, twisting the shape. I'm not twisting, but bending the, sh the cubes or the inner prisms because I'm uh, trying to make this more lively feel, you know. Add my own touch to it. I mean, it's, it's not an original idea. I saw many of Minecraft artists do this, but I, I really like it, so I just decided to imitate that. Yeah, okay, and I'm trying to do the skin off this quick reference I did, but I'm, I'm gonna do later in this video, I'm gonna put the picture there so I can do this more accurately. Okay, doing her hair ponytail. Not ponytail. Is it a ponytail? Yeah, I don't know, it's just long hair. Yeah, it's just long hair in this picture. I don't know if it's, in the, if it's a ponytail or do it or anything. But well, hey, I'm trying, okay? Okay, now for the arms, which are just gonna be long rectangular prisms. And the legs, yeah, okay. I, I I think that, you know those pants thingy, the, the pants? I think that thing is supposed to be attached to the pants, but I wasn't sure. So, um, now that I'm looking back at it, I think I should make that a part of the pants instead of making it this kind of, uh, I don't know what to call it, a piece of cloth. Hopefully you don't guys don't mind too much. Okay, doing the shoes. I like again, I think that should have been like a part of the pants. But I didn't really think that through when I was making it. Sorry if I offended anyone. I'm not sure if this is a would offend anyone. Sorry if I offend anyone for thinking I would offend anyone. Okay. 
looks pretty good. It's not that bad. Oh yeah, I need to fix that eye. Okay, that looks starting to look better now. Okay, now we're gonna do the time lapse. I'm gonna go to stop talking here because you know this is the most relaxing part of the video. And anyways, bye. Uh, I will be back at the end of the video. That's pretty much the video. Um, so you need to learn how to shape these shapes as well, obviously, so you can do stuff like this. Um, I recommend again getting reference for that. So it's like, like, or thinking about how the planes and, and how they would be dark or light. Anyways, that's it. Thank you for watching this. Have a good day and goodbye.